Chris's bio is like this big and like Jared's is this big, so. came to hang out with us and you can tell he's a good guy because he's wearing his Air Maxes, he's got a G-Shock watch. We just pulled up to the La Merzoco Cafe. Tim Wendelbo is the featured roaster for the month. I'm really excited to try his coffee because he's all the way in Norway and he's like a legend. Oh, you thought he wasn't gonna be back, but he's back. How's that cup? Every coffee, different vessel. What's up, Jeff? What's up? out here, part two, LM Cafe. <laughs> this is Jeff, and he's uh, committed to the program. Got the DJI. You got like the coolest beer, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Heard it here first. The uh, La Marzocco Cafe is definitely the hub. Everybody's here, they got a lot of space. Having a legendary roaster from Norway probably doesn't hurt. We've added Withers to the mix, and we're gonna go get some lunch. About 149 centimeters. They have a full menu. <laughs> Barbecue crushed it. We're gonna go to the convention center and pick up our badges early so we don't have to do it tomorrow. You know what I'm saying, Grace? <laughs> Good, how are you? Thank you. We all got our badges except for Jerry because he forgot to fill out the thingy. There he is waiting patiently. bigger than it looks. It's a lot bigger than it looks. So the Starbucks Reserve Store is kind of insane. It's almost like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory-ish. They've got a lot of pneumatics, vacuum tubes feeding coffee to different grinders. They've got the automated loading for the big 120 kilo Probat. It's a little bit over the top, but I think that's the point. I really like it. Some people like to poke fun at it, but I think it's really cool to show what is possible. And if you have an amazing budget, you might as well just go for it. Everybody left and went to Victrola, which is right here. So I'm gonna go find them. Is that a good luck cat? I'm in the back of the La Marzocco Cafe, and in about a half hour I'm going on and I'm doing kind of a basic to espresso class or an espresso Q&A. This is the life of a technical wizard. D-dub, dude. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. The whole idea was to get everyone here hanging out in the cafe, some amazing content about coffee for you to enjoy and consume. And up next, we got Chris Baca. Talk at the La Marzocco Cafe went well. Jared Snapchatted me in a brilliant way. Now we're trying to figure out a way to get a cocktail. A little decompression cocktail. We found the most ideal cocktail location. They have chairs. We just did Instagram Live. Do you like Instagram Live? Do you watch Instagram Live? I think I'm like slightly addicted to Instagram Live even though I never do it. I don't know how anybody feels about this. Alex is gonna cook us all dinner. He just doesn't know yet. Shotgun. Jared like no holds bar, just like start snapchatting girl eating a burrito in a car, it was rough. Chuck's theme of the week is to do it all. So if you were thinking about doing something, you should definitely do it. Ben. Mm. Can you taste Lebanon? The Ubers in this town are the freaking worst, dude. Alex and Jer are out, dude. They're gonna go be their own selves, do their own thing. Today's the first actual real day of Expo. The trade show starts, but we're in another room because all the lectures are being held in a separate building. So Jared's doing his lecture today. We're really early because that makes you feel good. We left Jared to just mentally prepare. We're gonna go get some espresso, hopefully from the BGA booth. Are you gonna watch Jared's? Yeah. Have Why? To. If you guys have not watched the Dapper and Wise videos, you should.
This is Bear, dude. He's got all your bases covered, all right, dude? You got a problem? He'll solve it. Look at that. Kansas City loves you guys. Ben Richardson, I am from the same hometown as Chris Baca. Kent from Voila Instant Coffee and Nick. Yeah. Jeff Osa from Moab Coffee House in Billings, Montana. A little over caffeinated right now, but I'm still looking forward to this espresso. Hey, buddy. <laughs> George from Toronto. How's it going, Jer? I'm having the best time, Chris. Thanks for asking. This is Matt. He makes the roasters that we use. He physically put them together? Absolutely. By hand. Do you have a key for us? Not really. Today is Saturday. TJ, how's the expo been? There was a line out the door and I got my espresso in like five seconds. How do you feel? Pretty good. Yeah? <laughs> Finished the lecture and now I feel so much more light. I want to find me a Kaya booth and find this weird little doodad they have. Brett Boy Wonder just hooked this up. I have the mission to meet and take a picture with you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh! I got a shirt thrown at me. Look at that. Grass-fed plant-based coffee. Okay. People keep hooking us up with stuff, which is sweet, but my backpack's really heavy. So there's a book. Whoa. We can set the uh, uh, target preset. For example, if I want 90 grams. Okay. And I can push in the, the, the target amount of beans. It's like a little weigh-in fill. Yeah, yeah. Can you preset different amounts on here? Yeah, we have uh, two presets and a manual. So let's try a larger preset. Yeah. Larger preset, we do two or three quicker. Oh, okay, right. And actually, manual can adjust the speed. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's really interesting. So that's a speed dial now. Yeah, the speed dial now. And then it'll just go... Uh, really fast. <laughs> to make it stop, you just tap it again. Chuck's life is like a roller coaster. Peaks and valleys, but the peaks are real high. That's the good part. The valleys are low. Lots of peaking. 